Hi. Very good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nick. Uh, unlike most of the magicians you've seen so far who produce snow and lots of paper, I do smaller things. Uh, I do sleight of hand magic, uh, things with you know everyday objects like cards, coins, and things like that. To begin with, we will uh, zoom in. Let's say the camera should zoom in a little bit more. Yes, some more, some more, uh, if you can. How's this stuff? Yeah, excellent. Good. I'll move. Yes, good. To start. I like I, li I like you too. Okay, <laughs> we'll produce the first one. The f is a coin. Now this is an invisible coin. You can't really see it unless you squeeze on it, and then it becomes visible. Yes, there we go. Coin number one. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is an American coin, very big coin. You don't really see this coin every day. When you have money, the funny thing about money is that you can actually multiply it. If you watch, just like this. Yes, giving me two, two coins. We almost squeeze like so. Two becoming three. Thank you very much. Mm. Three coins. Uh, I'll now cause the three coins to do something rather strange. They're going to fly across from place to place, from one place to another. Okay, from here to here. Mm. Coin number one. That's the first coin going from from my right to my left. Second one. If you watch close, two here, one here, two becoming. One and two, one becoming two. Across the next side, the last coin. If I aim for the camera now, the last one also melting away and reappearing on the other side, just like so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we'll go back in the past. Before I had the three coins, before I had the three coins, we'll get rid of the first one. The first one goes away, just like this, giving me just two, two coins. The next one. In the hand, if I get rid of the next coin, we should only have how many? One. Yes. One. And of course, leave me one coin left to go. The last coin. Also in the hand, a little squeeze. Also melting away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And once again, I apologize for this, but the nature of my work requires that you be very, very close. This is a playing card that uh, the gentleman over here has signed. All right, well, the idea is this, we're going to actually tear the card up into quarters. Fold the card in half, and I fold the card in half again. All right, and now when you unfold the card, you can see that there are now these, you know, these lines along the card, which make it very easy to tear the card up. Okay, and I'm going to tear the card up, just like so, down the center. Now, please notice that this is, in fact, a real tear. Okay, if you think that I didn't really tear the card up, then the rest of the trick is quite pointless. We'll continue tearing the card down the center, like so, until we have two pieces. We'll stick the card together like this and tear it down the middle once again, giving me four pieces. Now the idea is this, we're going to take the card piece by piece, every little piece, one at a time, and we're going to try to stick the card together one at a time, one at a time. Watch the first two pieces. Watch close. First two pieces. Two pieces. Just touch them together like this. And they go back together, just like so. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll try again with the next piece. Watch the next piece. Over here. Next piece. Just touch them together. And yes, it seems to be working. Yes. One more piece left to go. Now notice that uh, the gentleman's signature is still at the bottom. All right, it isn't an extra card or anything like that. Only one card is used because, of course, the signature is the same. Well, uh, the last piece, we're going to stick the card right there. You see that it is, in fact, the last piece. It really, really fits in there. And the name is still at the bottom. Keep your eye on the signature. Make sure nothing sneaky happens. Watch. The last piece. That's the first edge and the second edge just about there. Back together again, just like so.